Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are back with our World Cup predictions for the quarterfinals. Now as you can see on screen we are still doing pretty well in the World Cup groups. We are currently joint second, one point off top. I mean it's pretty close and you can climb pretty easily as the rounds sort of progress. But we're in a good, good position at the moment. We did pretty well in the last 16 so... We're looking good to try and hopefully win a bit of money. I'd love to win the whole thing, but it'll be interesting to see kind of how we progress. We, we really need to get two at least of our bonus teams into the semi-finals, which I'm hoping there's a good chance of, but it's football. You can never really tell. So let's uh, let's have a look how we did in the last 16, and then we'll jump into our quarterfinal predictions. Okay, guys, so as there was only eight games, we'll kind of run through them all pretty quickly now um holland usa was the first one we got zero points we obviously had um the usa to win which was a bit of a shock most people went for the netherlands to win but as i said when i did it i was happy to kind of potentially lose some points there we then had argentina australia annoyingly we had 2-0 and australia to be fair were pretty good but they can they um they scored a bit of a dodgy goal so we got four points as we got the correct um correct result but not the correct score line and they were our bonus team so we did get some extra points there um, we then had france against poland again rather annoyingly we had three now and poland got that pretty dodgy penalty in the last minute which made it three one frustrating because i don't think anyone had three nil no i think i would have been the only one to have three nil so rather annoying and then England Senegal again we had 2-0 it was 3-0 we were pretty close on both of these games on on this day which was quite frustrating but obviously good to see our bonus teams getting through then for the final two games i had Japan 2 Croatia 1 and it was one all. Not a lot of people had a draw in this game, as you can see. Um, there was a couple of people with one all, and one person had two all. Uh, we then, of course, had Brazil beating uh, Korea 4-1. I had 2-0, so we were never really going to get maximum points in this game. One person did have 4-1 and a bonus team for Brazil, so lots of points there. We then were the only person to predict Morocco to um, take Spain to extra time. We obviously had one all and it was nil-nil. But to be honest, I'll take the two points because they're two points that absolutely nobody else picked up. So very happy with that. And then the final game, obviously, we predicted a one-all draw between Portugal and Switzerland, which did not happen. Um, Portugal absolutely battered them 6-1. So a lot of people picked up two points here, um, one person with four. But we did pretty well. Um, obviously, as you can see here, this, these are the scores for the round of 16. We we actually picked up 16. Um, so there was, a, there was a few people on kind of 20, 18, so we didn't do as well, but we already had a bit of a lead from the group. So we're still sat in joint second place and looking good for the quarterfinals. So guys, we have jumped to our quarterfinal predictions. You can see them all on screen here. We'll very quickly run through the games again. Uh, obviously, first off, we've got Croatia against Brazil. I've gone for 3-1. I actually thought these quarterfinal predictions were really, really difficult. I'm just kind of preying on the fact that my bonus teams get through. So... I'm hoping Brazil should get through Croatia, I'd like to think. Again, Holland-Argentina, which is game two. I've gone for 2-1 Argentina. I've still not really been that impressed with Holland. I didn't see a lot of the game against the US, but heard they were quite good. But we've gone for 2-1 to the Argies in that game. It would be nice to get both of our bonus teams through. At game three, Morocco-Portugal, we've actually gone for 1-0 again. I, I think Port, uh, sorry, Morocco have quite a good chance. From what I've seen, they're a very good side and they were quite unlucky against Spain in the first 90 minutes from what I saw. And although Portugal won 6-1, I'm still not massively convinced. So I've gone for a one-all draw in that one. And then for game four, the big one for all English fans, France against England on Saturday, 7pm. I'm going to be absolutely bricking it for that game. But I've actually gone for 2-2. I was going to go for one all, but I thought there will be goals. I think it's just going to be a really cagey affair. The first goal is going to be absolutely massive. I'm just praying to God that England can find a way to get through. I do think that that game has a very high chance of going to extra time. Um, but Mbappe is just 
absolutely unreal, man. I know, I know England have Carl Walker, who physically is is a good matchup. But I mean, Mbappe is just so good, and he's been on fire this World Cup. So, as much as I'd like to be optimistic and say that England can get through, I think we are underdogs. Um, but it, it's a it's a proper proper tie that it could could go either way, to be honest. But I, I'm looking forward to the game. Nervous as well, but hopeful that England can get through. Obviously, there are only four games as it is the quarterfinals, and there they are. So uh, that will do it for this video anyway, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know your quarterfinal predictions down below, and I'll catch you for the next video very soon. Peace.